try to provide you with the breadth that you need to become a professional. Along the way, you're going to meet some great minds, build things and work together with others. You'll become the architects, the developers, the designers, the managers, the team leaders. You learn lateral thinking, creative thinking. When you find a problem, you find multiple solutions to that problem. I think one of the things that is particular about Glasgow is it's very much a research-led department. The people who are teaching you are all involved in research. Pretty well everybody in this department is involved in national or international research. Some questions driving our research and teaching include how do you know your programme does exactly what you want it to do? It might have been developed by hundreds of people and consists of thousands and thousands of lines of code. It's important it does what it should when it's, for example, controlling a jet engine or uh, controlling the brakes in your car. Or how do you know a message is going to get through from your computer to another one when, say, 50% of the nodes have just gone down in your wireless network? Or how could you communicate more effectively with your own computer? How could you use it more effectively, say, using your senses of touch and smell? One of the biggest things we do in third year is a team project. We are working on a rather complex software application. There's going to be a plain chess, so it's a chess plane artificial intelligence. It's rather complex. We're going to be submitting it in about three weeks. One of the great things about the project work is that uh, the team itself takes ownership of the problem and they have a lot of creativity about the solution. It seems there's no right answer. Every person comes with a different solution to a problem. So you know that whatever you think of is going to be unique. One of the most recent projects has been to uh, model what might happen if there was a terrorist attack on Central Station in Glasgow. We built a three-dimensional model using techniques from computer games. We were putting uh, improvised explosive devices into the station in the model to see what might happen if people tried to attack it with a car bomb or with gas canisters like they did at the airport. And the point being that we can't evacuate an enormously busy central station, but we can run these scenarios using computer software. After I graduate, I think I am going to go into the software engineering industry just because I've enjoyed my degree so much. We in IBM have been working with the Computing Science Department in Glasgow for, for many years. When we're looking for graduates, um, we look for people who can adapt. It's pretty certain in my mind that whatever we're doing today, we'll not be doing in two or three years' time. A computing science degree teaches the fundamentals and principles of the subject so that as the technology changes over time, which it's bound to do, a graduate is prepared for those changes. You don't just get taught code, you get taught how to solve a problem. I like the fact that someone can give me a problem, I know how to solve it, I know how to code it, and then I can see the finished article and say, I did that, I built that, I know this inside out, I know why this works, I know if it breaks I can fix it, I know if I want to make it faster or better, I can. A degree in computing is like having a passport, because once you've got that, you can choose almost any industry that you like in any part of the world and go work there. I mean, there's no other way of describing it. Computers have to be well designed, we're using them every day. It's so amazing the things we can do now. Everyone has a mobile phone now. Everyone has a small computer essentially in their pocket with them all the time. Almost anything that you look at, from MP3 players through to electricity, through to sending people to the moon and Mars, depends upon computers. If there is something wrong with the software, obviously it's going to affect all of us, even if you never use a computer. If you create a good software that basically can be relied upon, eventually you're helping people around you and eventually it benefits us all.